In this tip, I'm going to show you how to create an alternative to a Mary Mako chart. The example I'm going to show you how to build allows us to compare both category sales and region sales across categories and within categories. A traditional Mary Mako chart can be quite difficult to read. The problem is that each of the segments in this example have a different width and each of the subsegments within each segment have a different height. So it's very difficult to compare beta in segment A to beta in segment C. So that's where we're coming up with this alternative. The first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to drag category to the columns, region to the rows, and sales to the rows. I'm going to go ahead and sort descending. From here, I'm going to create a level of detail calculation. I'm going to call this one category sales. I'm going to write a fixed level of detail expression. I'm going to fix it on the category and then just choose the sum of sales. So this is going to return the total sales for each category. Click OK. And let's drag that to the right hand side of our chart to make it a dual axis chart. From here, we want to synchronize the axis. On the all marks card, let's change the mark type from automatic to a bar. I want to move my sales to the front. So I'm going to right click on the sales axis and choose move marks to front. Next, I want to go to the, sub, to the category sales I'm going to leave it as a bar chart. I'm going to make the size as big as possible. I'm going to click on the color shelf and turn the border off. And now you can see we can compare both across categories and the regions within each category and across the regions. So I can compare west to west to west. From here it's a bit of formatting. To make sure it's easier to see the difference between the different blue sections for our category sales, I'm going to format the borders. I'm going to make my column divider very fat and I'm going to make it white. And now you can see we have a nice little divider between each of the sections. And that's all there is to it. You now know how to create an alternative to a Mary Mako chart. Have a good day.